Ooh, it's those four little letters. But by now you've probably seen, encountered, or tested for the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator, or MBTI. You may simply know it as that personality test. If your results said you're an INFJ, that stands for Introverted, Intuitive, Feeling, and Judging. The titles given to INFJs are Advocate or Idealist. It's also the rarest personality type, accounting for only one to 3% of the population based on the USA. After getting a result like this, we can often wonder if it's true. Here are a few key factors that can indicate your true INFJ-ness. Before we dive in, just wanted to mention that there has been a huge decline in mental health around the world, which is why we're so committed to creating more content than we ever have. Stay tuned and thanks for being a part of our journey. Now let's begin. Number one, you tend to take an all or nothing approach to life. Go hard or go home, am I right? This phrase seems to have been created for the INFJ. They really get into things, really diving passionately into achieving those big dreams they have and always valuing quality over quantity. They aren't satisfied with the superficial or casual. They seek deeper truths and authenticity. This zero to 100 approach does unfortunately make them prone to burnout. So they need to carefully balance that drive with self-care. Number two, everyone tends to gravitate towards you. In the strive for a deeper connection and dissatisfaction with the superficial, INFJs tend to draw in those that want to open up. There isn't a specific action or sign, but they somehow give off the vibe to others that they are open to hearing others' deepest worries, dreams, and thoughts. Being excellent listeners with the ability to communicate in an easy to understand manner doesn't hurt either. Ironically, they themselves are somewhat private people, so they'll often act as the receiver of information rather than the giver while warming up to the other person. Number three, you have a natural talent for language. Alone time is creative time for these types. That I in INFJ does stand for introverted after all. They find their alone time enriching and entertaining as they usually have a variety of hobbies. As speaking to others about their own feelings can be difficult, they often channel it through writing. True to form, a large number of legendary writers are INFJs like Goethe, Dostoevsky, and Agatha Christie. Number four, you make decisions based on your intuition. Rather than clinically calculating probabilities based on past performance or track records, the INFJ critiques their environment and scores it based on how they feel directly. They fly with their gut feeling, but since they seek the core of any issue to understand it anyhow, their gut feeling is rarely wrong. Number five, you absolutely despise interpersonal conflict. This has to do with the INFJ's altruism and insightfulness. While some enjoy some buddy brawling or find excitement in arguing, all the INFJ feels is upsetting turbulence and instability. They find it easy to pick up on people's true motivations and feelings, and that makes the discord even more disturbing for them. They take responsibility for it in trying to make sense of the argument long after the immediate conflict is over to ensure that those they care about aren't hurt. Number six, you are concerned about what others think of you. Where do you spend your time and emotion? INFJs have significant personal investments in getting to know people on a deeper level. They wanna make the world a better place, and that includes those around them. They want people to be better for having known them, so they are quite sensitive if they believe they've not met someone's expectations. It feels like a failure on their part to not make things better overall. And number seven, you have principles etched in stone. These personality types aren't about to waffle around in their beliefs and values. They have standards, they have ethics. If someone's trying to pull them into a prison break or bank heist, some major spin doctoring will have to ensue because a simple bring isn't going to cut it. They are the ones who would argue with Darth Helmet that good is not dumb and would go against the corrupted leader even if the majority is falling in line. The INFJ will seed themselves deep within the core of a person or situation, ensuring that everything they do is meaningful and adds to their sense of purpose in life. Despite being an introvert, they'll passionately crusade to uphold their ethics and beliefs no matter the opposing force. So watch out. The INFJ may be rare, but they sure do leave an impact. How do you feel about these traits? What do you recognize, if anything? Please discuss. 
but keep it civil because an INFJ might wish to join in. Thanks for watching and see you soon.